In quantum field theory and statistical mechanics, the Merman-Wagner theorem, also known as Merman-Wagner-Hohenberg theorem, Merman-Wagner-Berezinsky theorem, or Coleman theorem, states that continuous symmetries cannot be spontaneously broken at finite temperature in systems with sufficiently short range interactions in dimensions d2. Intuitively, this means that long-range fluctuations can be created with little energy cost and since they increase the entropy they are favored. This is because if such a spontaneous symmetry breaking occurred, then the corresponding Goldstone bosons, being massless, would have an infrared divergent correlation function. The absence of spontaneous symmetry breaking in D two-dimensional systems was rigorously proved by Sidney Coleman in quantum field theory and by David Merman, Herbert Wagner and Pierre Hohenberg in statistical physics. That the theorem does not apply to discrete symmetries can be seen in the two-dimensional Ising model. Introduction Consider the free scalar field phi of mass m in two Euclidean dimensions. Its propagator is g x equals phi x phi 0 equals d 2 k 2 pi 2 e i k x k 2 plus m 2 Display style g x equals left langle var phi x var phi zero right wrangle equals int frac d carrot two k two pi carrot two frac e carrot ik c d o t x k carrot two plus m carrot two for small m g is a solution to Laplace's equation with a point source two g equals Delta x display style nabla carrot two g equals delta x. This is because the propagator is the reciprocal of two in K space. To use Gauss's law, define the electric field analog to be E equals g. The divergence of the electric field is zero in two dimensions using a large Gaussian ring E equals 1 2 pi r display style e equals 1 over 2 pi r so that the function g has a logarithmic divergence both at small and large r g r equals 1 2 pi log r display style g r equals 1 over 2 pi log r the interpretation of the divergence is that the field fluctuations cannot stay centered around a mean if you start at a point where the field has the value 1 the divergence tells you that as you travel far away the field is arbitrarily far from the starting value this makes a two-dimensional massless scalar field slightly tricky to define mathematically. If you define the field by a Monte Carlo simulation, it doesn't stay put, it slides to infinitely large values with time. This happens in one dimension too, when the field is a one-dimensional scalar field, a random walk in time. A random walk also moves arbitrarily far from its starting point, so that a one-dimensional or two-dimensional scalar does not have a well-defined average value. If the field is an angle, theta, as it is in the Mexican hat model where the complex field A equals ray theta has an expectation value but is free to slide in the theta direction, the angle theta will be random at large distances. 
This is the Merman Wagner theorem. There is no spontaneous breaking of a continuous symmetry in two dimensions. Equals. Topic: Costellitz-Thulis transition. Equals. Another example is the XY model. The Merman Wagner theorem prevents any spontaneous symmetry breaking of the model's continuous internal O2 symmetry on a spatial lattice of dimension d2, i.e. the spin field's expectation value remains zero for any finite temperature. Quantum phase transitions remain unaffected. However, the theorem does not prevent the existence of a phase transition in the sense of a diverging correlation length Xi. To this end, the model has two phases, a conventional disordered phase at high temperature with dominating exponential decay of the correlation function G R EXP minus R Xi Display style G R sim exp R she four R she one display style R she G G one and a low temperature phase with quasi long range order where G R decays according to some power law for sufficiently large but finite distance R A R she with other lattice spacing. Heisenberg model We will present an intuitive way to understand the mechanism that prevents symmetry breaking in low dimensions, through an application to the Heisenberg model, that is a system of n component spins C of unit length, C, equals 1, located at the sites of a d dimensional square lattice, with nearest neighbor coupling J. Its Hamiltonian is H equals minus J I J S I S J display style H equals J sum underscore left Langle I J right wrangle math BF s underscore I C D O T math BF s underscore J the name of this model comes from its rotational symmetry. Let us consider the low temperature behavior of this system and assume that there exists a spontaneously broken, that is a phase where all spins point in the same direction, e.g. along the x-axis. Then the O -N rotational symmetry of the system is spontaneously broken, or rather reduced to the O -N -1 symmetry under rotations around this direction. We can parametrize the field in terms of independent fluctuations SA around this direction as follows S equals one minus alpha sigma alpha two sigma alpha alpha equals one N Minus one display style math bf s equals left sqrt one sum underscore alpha sigma underscore alpha carrot two left sigma underscore alpha right right q quad alpha equals one c d o t s n one with sa one and Taylor expand the resulting Hamiltonian. We have s i S J equals one minus alpha sigma I alpha two one minus alpha sigma J alpha two plus alpha Sigma I alpha Sigma J alpha equals 
1 minus 1 2 alpha sigma i alpha 2 plus sigma j alpha 2 plus alpha sigma i alpha sigma j alpha plus o sigma 4 equals 1 minus 1 2 Alpha sigma i alpha minus sigma j alpha two plus display style begin aligned math bf s underscore i c d o t math bf s underscore j and equals s q r t left one sum underscore alpha sigma underscore i alpha carrot two right left one sum underscore alpha sigma underscore j alpha carrot two right plus sum underscore alpha sigma underscore I alpha sigma underscore J alpha and equals one T F R A C one two sum underscore alpha left sigma underscore I alpha carrot two plus sigma underscore J alpha carrot two right plus sum underscore alpha sigma underscore I alpha sigma underscore J alpha plus mathcal O left sigma carrot four right and equals one T F R A C one two Sum underscore alpha left sigma underscore i alpha sigma underscore j alpha right carrot two plus l dots end aligned whence h equals h zero plus one two j i j alpha sigma i alpha minus sigma j alpha two plus Display style h equals h underscore zero plus t f r a c one two j sum underscore left langle i j right wrangle sum underscore alpha left sigma underscore i alpha sigma underscore j alpha right carrot two plus c d o t s Ignoring the irrelevant constant term h0 equals minus jnd and passing to the continuum limit, given that we are interested in the low temperature phase where long wavelength fluctuations dominate, we get h equals 1 2 j d d x alpha sigma Alpha two plus display style h equals t f r a c one two j int mathrm d caret d x sum underscore alpha nabla sigma underscore alpha caret two plus l dots. The field fluctuations are called spin waves and can be recognized as Goldstone bosons. Indeed, they are n1 in number and they have zero mass since there is no mass term in the Hamiltonian. To find if this hypothetical phase really exists we have to check if our assumption is self-consistent, that is if the expectation value of the magnetization, calculated in this framework, is finite as assumed. To this end we need to calculate the first order correction to the magnetization due to the fluctuations. This is the procedure followed in the derivation of the well-known Ginzburg criterion. The model is Gaussian to first order and so the momentum space correlation function is proportional to k-2. Thus the real space two-point correlation function for each of these modes is sigma alpha r sigma alpha 0 equals 1 beta j 1 a d d k 2 pi d e i k r k 2 
Display style left Langle Sigma underscore alpha R Sigma underscore alpha zero right wrangle equals frac one beta j int carrot frac one a frac mathram D carrot D K two pi carrot D frac E carrot I math BF K C D O T math BF R K carrot two where A is the lattice spacing. The average magnetization is S one equals one minus one two alpha sigma alpha two plus Display style left Langle S underscore one right Wrangle equals one TFRAC one two sum underscore alpha left Langle Sigma underscore alpha carrot two right Wrangle plus L dots and the first order correction can now easily be calculated Alpha Sigma Alpha two zero equals N minus one one beta J one A D D K two Pi D one K two Display style sum underscore alpha left Langle Sigma underscore alpha carrot two zero right wrangle equals N one frac one beta J int carrot frac one a frac mathram D carrot D K two pi carrot D frac one K carrot two The integral above is proportional to one A K D Minus three D K display style int carrot frac one a k carrot d three mathram d k, and so it is finite for d greater than two, but appears to be logarithmically divergent for d two. However, this is really an artifact of the linear approximation. In a more careful treatment, the average magnetization is zero. We thus conclude that for D2 our assumption that there exists a phase of spontaneous magnetization is incorrect for all T0, because the fluctuations are strong enough to destroy the spontaneous symmetry breaking. This is a general result. merman wagner hohenberg theorem there is no phase with spontaneous breaking of a continuous symmetry for t greater than zero in d two dimensions. The result can also be extended to other geometries, such as Heisenberg films with an arbitrary number of layers, as well as to other lattice systems, Hubbard model, SF model. Topic: <laughs> Generalizations. Much stronger results than absence of magnetization can actually be proved, and the setting can be substantially more general. In particular, the Hamiltonian can be invariant under the action of an arbitrary compact, connected Lie group G. Long range interactions can be allowed provided that they decay fast enough, necessary and sufficient conditions are known. In this general setting, Merman Wagner theorem admits the following strong form stated here in an informal way. All infinite volume Gibbs states associated to this Hamiltonian are invariant under the action of G when the assumption that the Lie group be compact is dropped. A similar result holds, but with the conclusion that infinite volume Gibbs states do not exist. Finally, there are other important applications of these ideas and methods, most notably to the proof that there cannot be non translation invariant Gibbs states in two dimensional systems. A typical such example would be the absence of crystalline states in a system of hard disks with possibly additional attractive interactions. 
It has been proved however that interactions of hard core type can lead in general to violations of Merman-Wagner theorem. <laughs> Notes <laughs>